is up guys and welcome to another adventure video. Today we are in Sedona, Arizona. And we're going to be hitting what trail? Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow. It's considered a moderate trail. So we're going to show you guys around. If you guys are in Sedona, want to hit some dirt, this is probably a perfect trail for you guys. So let's get into it. We're going to air down and get the show on the road. One thing I can definitely tell you about this trail so far is the entrance of it. It's a little intimidating at first, but it's not really a big deal. Another thing, it's super narrow and you do have these pink jeeps that go back and forth and it can be kind of annoying, but hey, we all have to share these trails. What do you think of this trail so far? It's fun. It's fun. I'm gonna say it's probably a moderate trail, kind of on the technical side of it, just because uh, as you saw, this area does get a little rocky and you do have to just kind of pay attention to what you're doing. You don't necessarily need a spotter, but uh, paying attention is a big, big, big important thing you have to do on this trail. So you said I was gonna go over a few little obstacles here. Nothing too complicated, but it's a perfect way to start learning and uh, just, following instructions, especially if you have a, a spotter right in front of you. Nice and slow. So as you can see, there are some pretty weird technical spots just because there's a cliff there. And if you go on this side, there is another cliff just right around there or a rut. So you always wanna make sure that when you hit this trail, if you're by yourself, that you're very aware of where you are on the trail. Uh, I was actually driving up here as you can see here, now I'm really close. If I would have just went a little this way, there's a big possibility that the truck will actually tip over and end up in this little hole right here, which doesn't look so deep, but it really is. So in the off-road world, we do have something called passenger and driver. And what that allows you to do is to understand the language when you are not inside the vehicle. So for example, in her case, she would have to go passenger. Go ahead and go passenger. Straighten out, there you go. Passenger. 
Nice and straight. It's a little hard to pay attention up here and film at the same time, but I hope this video is helping you guys just kind of understand the basic language when it comes down to off-roading. All right. Yeah. You nervous? You're not nervous, huh? So we do have a few dips. Says my finger. Says the dip. They're pretty big dips. The camera won't capture it, but you always want to make sure that you just kind of roll down. You don't want to pump your brakes while you're going down because if there's a ledge over here, there's a big possibility that your truck will tip over. So nice and easy. Just go ahead and roll down. Nice and straight. Just let it roll, nice and slow. Don't pump them, nice and slow, nice and slow like that, perfect. All right, the back's gonna drop, so nice and slow. Yeah. All right, so right here, I know it looks a little intimidating, but this is where you want to just keep the truck straight, your tires straight, and just go down nice and slow. So, you can't see? It's all good, I got you. So go ahead and turn, turn in. Uh-huh, there you go. All right, stop. So back up just a little bit. There's a big rut right there. Doesn't look big, but it's big. Okay. Now, go passenger. All the way, all the way. Keep going. Amber, don't pump your brakes. Just let it, let it roll down nice and slow. There you go, there you go. And then straighten out, and then just take it all the way down, nice and straight. You know, go, go out. You're going to drop. There you go. It's all good. Stop. Don't pump your brakes. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. You're going to drop again. Check out that beauty. I'm not talking about my truck. I'm talking about my wife. Did a great job today. Did everything I told her and uh, I'm sure she learned a lot I'm sure she was scared at some point but she's a trooper all right and just like that we just finished broken arrow trail what'd you think of it it was fun it was a lot of fun was it uh, a little intimidating at first for me yes <laughs> especially driving this thing there's a little thing back here but you know what, if you guys are new to off-roading overlanding, this is a perfect trail to start. Um, you will need some tires, a small lift, and some sliders because it does get kind of complicated or kind of kind of sketchy at some points, right? And then obviously, don't cumber yourself. Bring someone with you that can be a spotter or just even tell you, hey bro, there's a ledge here, there's a whatever it is. But overall, a great trail. But now we're gonna hit the city, get some good food. We might just bring you guys along with us, but if we don't, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share if you guys want to continue more content like today's video. Yep. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.